So new construction is still popping here in Houston. We have over 741 new construction communities happening in 2024. If I'm being honest, I'm actually pretty concerned with the amount of new construction that is happening in the Houston area. And I have a feeling, just me, that in the next few years, we're going to have some situations with oversaturation, some really bad lawsuits when it comes to builder quality and the neighborhood. And just overall, I don't think these homes are going to appreciate or maintain the value like people are being promised. So now it is more important than ever to not only consider the builder you're building with, but the community you're building in because that matters if not more than the builder here in the Houston area, especially because currently we have over 741 communities to choose from when it comes to building a new construction home. Let me say it again, 741 communities. So in this video, I'm going to go over my top seven picks when it comes to what I think have the highest chances of appreciation, have the best quality builders, and overall, just if I were personally having to build a new construction home in Houston, these are the attributes and communities that I would personally look for. For the sake of time, I'm only gonna do the top seven, but I did make a guide with the top 20 most popular. So if you're considering a community I didn't mention, it's probably in that guide if you wanna download it. All right, so pick number one for me is the Hockley area. I talked a lot about this earlier in the year, but I still believe that Hockley is going to be the next growing area. I think the school district is really strong and has a lot of potential. I also am picking this area because it is so new. The prices are still reasonably priced. You can get a Perry, a Highland, David Weekly, a top tier builder for still in the upper 300s to low mid 400s. Whereas if you built with these same builders in Cyprus or Katy, you're going to be paying closer to four to 500,000. In Hockley, there's also a massive amount of single builder to lower end affordable homes that are growing up. There's several of those communities. I personally would caution with those communities. I would really look into the builder review as well as the future development of those neighborhoods. What typically happens with those neighborhoods is they go up really fast, they're promised a lot of things, and then once the developer or builder is done with there, the area does not maintain itself as well. Number two on my list is Ellison, and I know this one's been building for a while, at least five to six years now, and a lot of the sections are established, but I still think that this is a really good opportunity because of the future of this community. So if you are looking for something like Cinco Ranch in terms of the shopping and the way it's kind of set up, Ellison is the newer version of that. And what I like about Ellison compared to all the other mega master plan communities is that they've already started building the commercial they are not waiting until all thousands and thousands of residents move in to start the commercial. So it's really convenient that you are in a new home community and you already have shopping close by. I also pick this one because if you're looking for an established master plan community that actually has schools on site already, commercial built, really good reputable builders, this one is the lowest average cost compared to all the other mega master plan communities, which in my opinion makes it a good value, especially if you are looking for KD ISD. Number three on my list is Bridgeland. And again, this is not a new master plan community. In fact, this community has been building for over a decade, but they probably still have a decade left of building. Now this one eventually will probably be the size of a mini town. So if you were looking for something not so massive, this probably isn't the community for you. But what I like about Bridgeland is the developer. The developer that is developing Bridgeland has done very successful mega master plan communities all over the country that are wildly successful and they maintain their value very, very well. So. I do feel like, especially when it comes to master plan communities, history can repeat itself. So you really want to find a developer that has a proven track record because then you do have some sort of level of certainty about the future and what's going to happen to the home. Because Bridgeland is so massive, there are different areas of Bridgeland. They all have their distinct style and look to it. The ones where you're going to get new construction homes in 2025 is Creekland and Prairie Land. These again are in Waller ISD. What I also like about Bridgeland is I sincerely think you cannot find another master plan community in the Houston area that is like Bridgeland. 
They have a ton of walking trails, a ton of parks. Every quarter mile there is a playground or a park. They also have just miles and miles of retention ponds. So it really does feel like you're out in nature, even though you are in the middle of a very busy, bustling suburban community. I might be biased because I live in Bridgeland, but when I first bought here, I bought in Bridgeland and I liked the area so much. And this was after years of seeing other communities and areas. And I chose to buy a second home in Bridgeland just because I do believe in the area. And I do believe that overall, it is a very well-rounded place to live. It is expensive. It is probably one of the more expensive ones but it is a very nice community. Number four on my list is Cross Creek West. And this one is basically, again, a copy and paste of Cross Creek Ranch, which was the original master plan community in the Fulster area, which I think is kind of similar to Bridgeland. I used to call it the South Bridgeland, just a little bit smaller. But again, Cross Creek West is going to give you overall a good rounded master plan community. They have top tier builders in there. They have a lot of amenities. It's in a good location. There's a lot of shopping coming to the area. They have on-site schools that are already being built. And you also get access to their sister community, Cross Creek Ranches amenities. And number five on my list, and this is actually the only one that is truly coming and opening in 2025 and that is austin point which will be near fulcher texas i really like this one and i'm keeping an eye on it because of the concept it is going to be more of a live work play situation they're going to have a town center that's going to have condos apartments live above your business type situation and of course a bunch of home builders. This is going to be a brand new, massive master plan community with top tier builders. I don't believe this one's going to start until the third quarter of 2025, but if you're gonna hold out and wait, I would definitely have this one on your list because I think it's going to be a really cool concept for the Houston suburbs. Number six on my list is Audubon in Magnolia. Now this is a ways out, so if you are okay being a little farther out from the Houston area, then I really think this is a good master plan community. It's newer, it's not brand new, but they still have a long ways to go. But I think if this neighborhood is so charming, it has tons of trees and it's just a very quaint community, very close, tight knit. They're going to have some really nice elementary school on site. There's going to be an amenity center opening next year, but for the price that you get out there for being 45 minutes to an hour outside of Houston, you can get a top tier builder home for at least 50 to $100,000 less than you would pay a little closer into the Houston suburbs. Number seven on my list, this is kind of way far out there and I don't talk about this area very often, but I do think it's a really nice area, especially if you're looking for a quaint, family-friendly, newer area to go, Riceland and Mount Bellevue. Like I said, this area is a little bit small townish. It's kind of southeast of Houston, but the property tax is lower out there. The home prices are lower. The school district is actually really well rated, and Riceland, again, is going to be a very nice master plan community that's going to be diverse in builders, amenities, and location. They will also have on-site schools. So like I said, if you want an additional list of other master plan communities and my personal opinion on them, go ahead and download the guide. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.